everyone so again welcome to the session and in this session we are going to see the analysis and the market forecast for euro usd and guys uh, let congratulate to those uh, traders who followed our analysis on euro usd uh, in euro usd we are in selling mode and exactly yesterday the market given a big move in selling direction in euro usd right and also we have booked our good profits in another currencies for euro usd and nzd like these so uh, this was a, a channel and the, as market broken uh, this then we got a very book, uh, big move from the euro usd guys now uh, the currently market is lying at the level of 0.99979 so what could be the next move in a euro usd so let me tell you in one word that i will we tell you that euro usd should create one more uh, lower side wave according to my view uh, according to my analysis right so this is my one view that uh, we should plan our sell setups with the euro usd now i will try to uh, uh, tell you or explain you that uh, from where we should enter for the selling so let understand the market structure right guys uh, we have to understand the market structure and if we go on m30 time frame then we have something to uh, learn and understand here right so please watch the video till the end guys right and uh, see if we follow the market cycle then what we have is we got a good impulsive wave from here right and before that it was also creation of the Elliott wave so this is a third this is a second and this is a first wave right so we know that this this is a uh, fourth wave creation but the thing is where to enter for the next wave right so it will uh, make your mind very confused that where we should enter we can all see that uh, this is a correction but the main question is where we should enter into the market because whenever you will try to enter the market it will hit your stop loss because uh, uh, most of the stop loss hit when the market do corrections right so let uh, let's let's try to find out where we should enter into the market so as we can see after reaching the market on this label the market given one wave in higher uh, higher side then created a lower then again given a higher right guys so this is a one zigzag pattern by the market right this is one zigzag pattern by the market if we try to count the sub waves then we have these waves and again if we count this wave then this is again a sub waves right of the five waves so we can say that this is a a this is b and this is a c now uh, many people who trading uh, the Elliott wave they might be thinking that okay the abc correction is now completed and now this wave is coming as a first wave and this will be the second wave and uh, from this label they will uh, sold the euro usd and market will go in downward direction but according to my view when you will uh, sell the market at this level your stop loss will be hit at this level right in my view let's see uh, it depends on the market but i think that market should do so what uh, what will market do then if the market will hit at this level if we uh, sell at this level then what we should do see guys let me uh, try to let me uh, try to share with my views on euro usd exactly what we should need to do right so guys this is one wave if we'll say if we'll see it very carefully then this is a three wave correction right so this is not the impulsive wave so this is a like a bridge this is a creation of complex zigzag pattern in Elliott wave right this is a uh, correction pattern with a complex behavior right so from here the market will do like this right the market will uh, create like this then again it will come like this right guys and again then market will go here and then you can sell your market right so this section we have we call it the double zigzag pattern right so this is this uh, three waves is working as a bridge for creating the double zigzag pattern right so we will get this structure like that and all the stop losses who are uh, selling the people at this level 
uh, their stop loss will be might be at this level and the market will hit their stop loss for sure so what we have to do is we have we need to just uh, get the picture very clear we have to need to uh, need the structure to be completed and as the market give a impulsive wave and after that you can enter on the retracement of this impulsive wave, right? So this will be your first. See, this is A, this is B, and this is your C, right? So this was a one zigzag here, and this was another another zigzag here. So this is a double zigzag structure. And now after that, completing the market, market will give one more impulsive, and it will retrace. So at the retracement level, you have to take entry for the sell. Just keep your stop loss at here and let the market unfold in downward direction. So as this is the deep analysis of EURUSD, according to my view, the market should do for these uh, all these uh, tantrums to going uh, for the downward direction, right? So market will uh, must try to hit your stop losses at these levels, right? So because many people uh, will thinking that, okay, this is a correction phase and uh, they should sell the market. That is where the market will hit your more stop losses and they will try to get you out from the market. So guys, this is the analysis for the UDVSD. I hope you are like uh, you are liking my videos and if you're first time on my channel, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And still, if you have not joined our personal membership classes, you can join if you want to be a pro trader in just 30 days. Guys, thank you so much.